Y'all, in this video, we are finally going to go over what I've discovered about the Vessel 220 USB Plus, 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 Plus. Uh, this model number, I'm going to go ahead and get this clear. This is the Japanese version. It has to ship from internationally if you're in the U.S. Uh, there's three different versions. I'm going to put the picture up here of what I just kind of screenshotted on Amazon. So they, they operate differently. This is a USB-C. The other two are USB-A. It always happens. All right, so anyway, the USB-220, USB++++++. Plus, 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 plus. And yes, the premium red plus, 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 just plus, plus. Uh, so I got on a kick of Vessel screwdrivers a while ago and I started buying different ones and I'd showcase them in videos. I really like the different options that they have. There are several different options. I really like the tips. They are great. This is a heavier one, this plastic handle. Uh, the little guys. Once I discovered these little guys, I started using them primarily for mortise cylinders. In the locksmith world, we have these guys that are on these kind of doors and they have tiny screws that use a number one Phillips head on the back of them most of the time. Some of them have uh, tiny flathead. The old versions have the tiny flatheads, but we're primarily talking about number one because uh, some of you may use one of these guys uh, to do that if you have a bunch of them, you know. Oh, that is just deader than hell, ain't it? Oh. But you don't really need it to be impact. You don't need to use an impact on a little tiny number one screws. Once you break it, as in break the initial uh, when you're tightening a screw down, you go uh, and it uh, Well, you have to undo that. Uh, once you break that, it's machine thread almost always. Some of them have this aluminum, but it's for the most part machine thread. So you're basically uh, and then uh, uh, so there's a lot more uh, uh, than there is. Uh. You get what I'm talking about. The thing about these is they have a higher torque. I think that's what it is. Now I'm fully expecting and I fully hope the Justin T who started sending me crazy Justin T who sent me all of this to review and I hadn't even gotten to, to these, uh, the wee highs that he sent me as well. Uh, he did send me a couple of wearers that I've been using these wearers. This is a, uh, this one's actually pretty cool. Hold on, as a side note, Yeah, this guy. Oh, hmm. Oh, screwdriver in your hand. Are you just glad to see me? I had to, had to do it. And uh, this baby screwdriver with bit things. Ordered a few from a former video. This is not our first screwdriver video, and I probably have a link that I'll put up here or something. Well, after uh, while I was getting those, I also got into the vessel kick. I pretty much have every vessel hand screwdriver except for the wood ones. I'm gonna be getting the wood ones myself, um, but uh, I don't know where I was at, but we, uh, so my main is still this PB Swiss, which in fact, I, are you serious? I don't know where I was with filming, but anyway, if you, uh, again, you don't need an impact to get these little tiny screws out. In fact, again, all you have to do, put it in there and then you spin in the screw on threads. Now. If you have a bunch of these to do, that can get a little tedious. So I initially had started using this guy because I really don't like impacts anyway. And snap in a no, number one. I think this is a wearer bit. And, and make sure it's on, you know, one or two setting, a light setting. They're fine to, to, to go out, to unscrew. But when you screw them back in, you don't want to, you don't want to use, you don't want to let that go into ratchet. One's a little slow, so I stay on two when I do have to do that. However, the best thing to do is get a, a screwdriver, an electronic screwdriver. There's plenty of options out nowadays, if not these, then even one of these. Ken Nixon sent me this uh, through Amazon, and it is a, looks to be, where'd it go? Let's check it out. Somewhat of a copy of said vessel driver. Pretty much the same size. Japanese on the uh, instructions. This one comes with some bits. Of course, it comes with a charging cable. This is USB-A, USB 
a but this one comes with more bits it comes with your standard uh why is it missing one standard little pack of, of bits there and it comes with a long double end guy and a bit driver for these things and again at least in these directions there is english options for it whereas with the vessel japanese there is no there's no options for english uh but then i started noticing something i was like wait a minute this bit looks exactly like this bit, which leads us to the downside of using a vessel, or even, for that matter, this guy. And that is, if you take a regular, regular length, standard, what American would be considered standard, and slip it in there, you've got this slop. If you order vessel bits now there are vessel bits that are for this and then there are regular so you got to look at this see the difference there see that here's one out of the package this is the number one head thin got this rubber coating i did a video a long time ago about the rubber coated uh i can't remember the name brand now but look at this if you look at any of your your bits they're gonna have See, that's a longer one, so this would work in either or. But they're going to be short or they're going to be long. There's pretty much two different sizes. This is about double the length of it. If we get a micrometer and measure it, this is about half an inch. Doop, 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 doop. Six, 31, 64. This is about half an inch, whereas this one's about five sixteenths of an inch. Somewhere in that range. So that is why you have this slop. And when I opened this guy, I noticed, you know, the bits that came with it were long. So I was like, ooh, see, so, yep, yeah, has that same slop. However, it is designed to take this longer or this half inch. Still got a little slop in the uh, Amazon one, right? Not as bad, but there's still a little wobble wobble. So that's the bad thing about it. And in in reverse, if you think, hey, I'm just gonna get this bit and use it for everything. Well, not exactly because it won't clip in. And obviously that can be an issue with it just falling out. So what do you do? What do you do? Let's move all this. Now, before I move it all, here's some of the options on bits. Uh, this guy comes with this one. I've already taken it out. So you have number one, number two long, which is the same thing pretty much as this guy right here. Where'd it go? That's in there. Number two. It's actually a little bit longer. This double-ended guy, which is the same as the one that comes... But this one, a short double-ended guy, and these double ends are made, obviously, to go into there. So, take that out, slap this double end in. You have two, two ends that you can just flip around. Now, there is also, stop it, there is also a number three driver. However, while this does, once you're not pushing the button, it locks up. In other words, you can not push the button and just use this as a regular screwdriver day in and day out. But when you're ready to do it, that's got some wobble there. Look at that. That's that Amazon one. And, oh, uh oh. Check this out. See if it's got as much wobble. Much, much less wobble. So, that's one setting. Now, I did notice that this thing started coming off, so we are uh, probably gonna be losing that unless I glue it back on. And you hold this down. There's no directions. You kinda have to figure this out, so we're gonna hold that down for a second, and it blinks three times, and that slows it down. Now, again, Justin T, correct me if I'm wrong on any of this. We're gonna hold it down two more seconds, and it blinks fast. That's pretty quick. One, two, three, and now we have a solid green. That's 
pretty speedy. One, two, three. Slow blank. Okay. I think that's the setting I normally use. So if we grab a bit, and, and again, Justin donated all this to me for this, uh, for me to check out these and share with y'all. And uh, the one bad thing about this is that's awful long to be using. You want to be as close to a mortise cylinder when you're unscrewing it as possible. So while these are work great for doorknobs come in and I'm going to put clips of footage. We're going to have a little, little footage clip and go to the number two. That length is great for doorknobs. It's pretty handy for putting in your back pocket, but that's just a little long for mortise cylinders. So I, or he sent, what did it, what, 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 this thing, yeah, this pack, where'd it go? This guy is a number one. Very, very super skinny. Actually works pretty dang good for it. Still has a little slop though. You know, that's, that's a little irritating, not too bad, but it, while it does not look like a number one Phillips, it says it on the package that it is and it fits okay. One thing about the vessel, bits are uh they're really well made and i believe as i recall this is a little, a little magnetic maybe no it's not magnetic it's just so well made that it just holds it in so unless you get vicious like that shit where'd it go for this demonstration i don't really need it but yeah it's on the ground somewhere i'm gonna put this back in real quick does fit multiple screws and these aluminum storefront. So what I was saying about the torque with your impact is this actually torques it down pretty well. And if you're even unsure of it, so we're gonna go, see how it stopped, it's not tight. And, and if it did that, then I would just, number one, I just, I think cross threaded that a little bit, but I don't care. I'm gonna tighten it down. Uh, now, one thing I have noticed is this very, very gentle switch. If you just tap it while you're screwing, it may decide to start on its own. Uh, whereas this one looks like it may be just as easy because they protrude. So if you were sitting there turning it in your hand, they're pretty easy. So this one is, at least is recessed a little bit. There's a little bit of protection right there. Just the difference in, uh, I don't know how much this one is offhand but it, uh, it's all right, there we go. Okay, let's try that. Oh, that wasn't bad. Oh, don't we go. Okay, let's put that back. Must have a little bit of magnetism to those because it fell right off. Okay. Oh, and then tighten down. Let's switch it out for this guy. This, this, where'd it go? <laughs> I got too many bits out here on the table. This, uh, we have, where, which one is this? We have, we have bit is actually, even though it's sloppy in here, this is one of my favorite bits to use in the impact gun anyway. Ooh. So just letting you know, there are options out there of this being one of them. However, the vessel makes pretty decent product. However, however, you may be thinking to yourself, I don't want to have to deal with two different bits. Well, Justin sent me another package with some solutions when he sent me these bits. He was like, here is the salute. Here are four possible solutions for it. I'm going to get through these rather quickly. This is option one, a Modified and unmodified Vega bit holder. Now, Vega bit holders are probably pretty dang decent holders. I carry this in my watch pocket alongside this because it's the same side, size. And, and it looks like he put it on a lathe and just lathed it out. So now we have the standard that's loose and sloppy. And we have the modified one that's tight and nice. I don't know how these work. How do these work? Oh, these unscrew. Really? I've never used one of these before. Oh, it's like more of a permanent type. So if you're, if you're always leaving a bit in there, you can just 
screw it down. How do you get it out? Oh, shoot. It's just an O-ring? Hmm. Okay, well, never used these bit holders before, but that's an option. You could probably do that with any bit holder. Just grind a, grind a thing around it. If you wanted to take this, do it, or a lathe, obviously. You could just lathe it down. Good idea, huh? Order one, hold it up, see where it needs to be modified and modify away. Good idea there, but then there's other options. What if you don't have a lathe to make a pretty cool cut like that? Well, you can do number two. Metric brass insert with a retention O-ring that can be inserted into the Vessel 220 to adapt it for US use. There are two of them in here. This guy is basically this cut down and cut down with an O-ring. This is the, the thing that inserts it. So tighten that down, pull your chuck out, put it in there, let it go, unscrew your installation screw. Now we can take a regular driver, put it in, and it's tight. No slop whatsoever. A little side to side, but that's going to be expected. So there we go. The good thing about that is it typically is not going to fall out by itself. You have to have this installation screw to get it out. So the bad thing about it is, yes, if you wanted to use it for an actual vessel bit, you wouldn't be able to now because that's in the way. And now it would fall out because it's too long. So we're just gonna screw the screw in, pop that out, pull it out. There you go. Option two, option three is the same thing, mostly made out of a steel one instead of brass. However, it has a little bitty tiny screw in here. I'm gonna show you on this one. Basically each bag has two examples of each one. So there's a little bitty tiny what uh, overseas calls grub screws, what we call set screws. You take this, Maybe a long one. Maybe need to be a little bit longer. Uh, in fact, it could be just as long as this guy is. And uh, and put your O-ring in it, over it. And if you need to adjust it, like if you weren't so great cutting the size, same exact thing. You take this. See that's poking out a little bit. And slip that down in there. Let it go. Unscrew and. Give it a try and see if it's right. If it's not, you would just tighten down so that's a little high. Okay, so we're gonna check that. Does it come out? No, it doesn't. The last one is pretty much the same thing, except it's just drop in. So in other words, it would drop out freely. So let's go ahead and unscrew this. Back this screw in just a bit. Boop, boop. Maybe put a little Loctite on it when you find just the right spot. Installation screw, drop it down in there, let it go, and give it a try again. It should at some point. Be short enough. Come on out. And he said, in theory. For this one, he said, in th the thought behind this. Uh, so this is kind of just one of his, maybe ideas as a, another example. So maybe not perfected. Maybe why I'm having trouble with it. Oh, oh, close, We're very close. So anyway, that's, that's the thought. You just keep adjusting that screw until it's just right. Uh, and again, then lastly would be the number four Again, going back to the metric brass inserts, but literally they just drop in. Uh, the adjustable option of bag number four. Drop in and out. Has the adjustable screw again, so you would just adjust that how it needs to go. There's some cool little divots around this. We're gonna take that. We're just gonna drop it down in there. Boop. Now obviously the disadvantage to that is, advantage or disadvantage, is that it would fall out. I feel like you'd probably lose that one pretty quick. 
Look at that. So that's four options, thanks to Justin T. I don't know if he came up with all this on his own or uh, if he uh, kind of, if somebody else has done this on a video, I did not research any of these videos to see any of those methods to see, but I just want y'all to know about the vessel driver. These guys are pretty interesting. In the last note that he sent me, when he sent me the red version, wherever it went, which is the same thing, it's just red. It's just like a like a, a premium. He said he said that the chuck is a little bit seems a little bit less play in it. These are pretty sweet bits. He does in his other letter that he sent. He said he cuts that O ring out because he doesn't prefer it. But this is a slender, as in slender like that, even slenderer. Uh, number one over here. Really thin, uh, and it's shorter, but it is a number two. So it's the number one size diameter, but with a number two tip. So obviously this would not work on mortise cylinders. How it sits on your butt. I see, I, I wouldn't necessarily carry this. This is an excellent bench driver. One reason why I like screwdrivers that have this conical shape instead of having a larger end right here. That's the main reason. All, all vessel drivers, all the ball end vessel drivers have that bulbous. It's, it's really great when you're having to unscrew things, but it's not so great when you're having to carry it in your back pocket or try to keep it in a bag. It does take up a little bit more room. But as far as a uh, inch screwdriver, to save your wrist from unscrewing, if somebody brings you in 50 mortise cylinders, that's 100 screws that you have to unscrew and rescrew. And having a thing like this, whether it be Vessel or an Amazon brand, thanks again, Justin T. Thanks again, Ken Nixon. Uh, and as everybody else who has sent stuff, stay tuned for a future video more so on that stuff. I have been using it. I'm, I, I prefer to use stuff for a while, and I've had this guy for probably almost a year now. So uh, that's it, you know. The bonuses here are the USB-C, faster charging. How long does it keep up a charge for? It keeps up a charge for a pretty decent length of time. How many screws can you screw with it? A fair amount. I've done many, many mortise cylinder jobs that had 50 to 75 mortise cylinders each time master keying and uh, didn't have to recharge it very much at all. I think I've only charged it like three or four times in this is... In, in the lifetime of this guy. Just pay attention to those model numbers. I'm not, uh, I'm not familiar with the other ones, the other speed models. It's basically just a difference in speed, which is what all the numbering on the package is, is for, and I'm not even gonna try to translate that. Y'all are thinking, Jason, I know you didn't go through that whole video without showing us the red one. It's exactly the same specs, but it's red and <laughs> it's awesome. These do come with a, oh, this comes with a special one, a double-ended one. Look at that. So it does come with a different bit. This came with a number one or number two driver, which, you know, like I said, is kind of not the greatest for us. So you do need to order extra bits, but this one came with a double-ended flat on one side. Uh, and so this will be kind of not the greatest for us as well with a little bit of a charge but it is it's got less rubber around it it's definitely a <laughs> sleeker version he said the chuck is a little bit seems to be a little bit tighter okay let's see oh, that's about the same so there you go the premium red 220 USB plus plus part number. This one is part number 220 USB P1 or E. The standard one is 220 USB dash P1. So just P1, same thing, just red.
Honestly, I kind of like this one better. But this is sweet. Or if they improve the switch. Kind of sad about that. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, look for Justin T in the comments. I'll put him, I'll, 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 I'll make him explain things that I was either wrong about or that he needs to clarify. So, anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. And uh, we'll stay tuned to the next video. We'll catch you that. What?